There are many mods over the years that really captivate us, whether it's the idea of going to a new dimension such as Twilight Forest or Aether, or maybe you prefer to have more technical experience such as Industrial Craft 2 or Buildcraft. The idea behind a lot of these mods being favored is very strange, such as Millionaire being favored for its unique village design. Or if you wanted to build your own village, you would use mine colonies. The concept of how Thomcraft really became a popular mod is strange, but it makes sense. It's the concept of taking elements from different items within Minecraft. And believe me, Minecraft has a lot of items. You take the elements or like the, the properties of an item and convert it into something magical. This is such a basic concept but it's a very nice concept for Minecraft, a game where you get a lot of materials and such. So why in the world is this mod not being updated? We're going to look into that as this is a mod that has been loved but lost through time and we're going to take a look at some interesting information regarding Thomcraft. Now I'm going to include a little bit of an advertisement here. Make sure to check out my Play Away mod pack because this mod pack does include this mod alongside Twilight Forest. And Twilight Forest is a mod that I also did a bit of a video on. But in any case, make sure to check out that video alongside giving me suggestions on what mod I should, you know, do next. But for now, let's take a look at Thomcraft. So let's get into the reasoning behind Thomcraft's immediate growth. Well, for one, this book right here, the Thomnomicon, it is probably the best book within any magic mod. And this is just for the simplicity that it just helps people. It helps so many people figure out how to work the mod. And that is unusual for a mod because mods like Embers Rekindled are so hard to follow. Embers Rekindled does have its own sets of like, I guess, a achievements or a progress, but it is such a hard mod to follow in comparison to that of Thomcraft. And Embers Rekindled is obviously a good mod alongside Thomcraft, but with Thomcraft, this book right here allows you to view all the recipes and have a true understanding of what to do. And you pair this up with just enough items alongside maybe Thomic just enough items as well and you have full access to an understanding of knowledge and not to mention you have a pathway in order to understand and go process through the mod and all that stuff it's it's just overall so handy to have this kind of of an item within a magic mod and it's not like you gain knowledge of this item as soon as you start the game. It is such a very interesting storyline behind Thomcraft. It isn't like you get on a magical adventure or go explore some fast magical land or anything crazy like that. You like you go to the biome and then wow, my life has been enlightened by the biome. No, it just has a simple storyline of you find magical crystals within a cave, for example. And then you sleep and then you're given a quest of getting three of these crystals, maybe gets a bowl and basically just grind them up together to make a powder. I believe this is the Salus Mundus and essentially just start your adventure by creating the Dominomicon. And this simple storyline that they have for how you came about Thomcraft, it's such an amazing storyline because you're essentially crafting your own storyline from this initial event. As you progress through Thomcraft, basically that's the only part where it tells you what to do. The rest is up to you and the Thomonomicon. Eventually you get to progress into some higher level stuff and of course there are consequences. That is an amazing part of any mod that has any overpowered stuff. And Magic is known to have the most consequences. Mods like Electrolyze Wizardry, for example, are very fun. It's a very fun mod to have for, you know, certain situations, especially because it's such a simple magic mod. But Electrolyze Wizardry doesn't have any true consequences aside from you accidentally clicking on a spell and blowing up your house. This mod has consequences. And as you can see by the screenshots, the entire area can be tainted or corrupted because of, you know, basically a magical pollution. Having this kind of mod with this feature installed 
which by the way, you could also disable it if you prefer it. So that's obviously an amazing thing to have as well because people might not like it. Having this concept of being, you know, forced to, to make sure to protect yourself, not to mention to clean up the tainted areas in order to avoid having this corruption in your world. This is such an amazing part of Thomcraft because of the not only the progression parts, but also you have the player worrying about the state of the Minecraft world as you're dealing with some very high powered magic. To top it off, it comes with its own set of mobs. It isn't like a huge, whoa, that's crazy kind of like, you know, moment, but it's still nice to have a magic mod that not only adds items to the game, but of course it adds hostile mobs alongside maybe, you know, a golem to help you with certain things or add in, you know, a new ally or pets or friend, whatever you would treat the golem as. Just the concept of having such a wide variety of different elements to Thomcraft is a part of what makes it so amazing. And this might be a random comment for Thomcraft, but I just love how it actually has compatibility for locating the aspects of each item the different kinds of elements from each item and it's just so crazy because these are all from different mods right here in the mod pack that i'm actually playing which is my mod pack player way and you just have a whole variety of different items and such that are not related to each other at all but somehow you can gain the elements of it now, of course, you guys probably came here for the more important bit, which is what exactly happened to this mod? Well, unfortunately, as in or as it is shown within the Minecraft form thread or post, whatever it's called, he actually quit modding. He has stopped modding on all mods, including Thumbcraft and Bobbles, which are the two mods that he is really focused on. I don't know exactly what's going to happen to the Bobbles. I don't know if it's in progress of updating under something different or if there's a successor of any kind. All I know is that Thomcraft has been given to the cough team and the cough team is very, very well known for its work in Thermal Foundation. Thermal Foundation is actually not up to date right now. They do need to update a lot of the stuff there. So you can kind of understand the reasoning behind Thomcraft not being updated is because they're focusing on their cough mods. And when they focus on the cough mods, they need to focus on their, their main bits before they can work on Thomcraft. This is a problem because of how Minecraft updating has been recently. Thomcraft has been updated to 1.2.2 that we know, but because of how outdated it is from 1.16.5, basically it needs a lot of, and it's going to be released to the latest version of Minecraft, whatever that might be until the release. This is shown within the Discord and the Discord thread, well, Discord post, excuse me. This shows that all the plans for Thomcraft, and this was back in 2021, so you can kind of understand like they are taking their sweet time with the mod. And of course, they have the right to do whatever they want to the mod because they were the ones given permission by Azenor. And Azenor is also overseeing the development, meaning that whatever happens in Thumbcraft, it is approved by Azenor. Now, of course, there are some people that want to make their own mod versions of Thumbcraft, and that is understandable. However, that is not from Azenor's permission. Azenor does not give permission to anyone else but the Cough team. King Lemming and his group is in charge of Thomcraft, and they are the main group that is in charge of Thomcraft, and only group in charge of Thomcraft. What exactly is the status on the updates? Well, they're not going to give you anything, and I can guarantee you, if you ask them, just like the post said, they're not going to answer because they're not going to give a specific date just to get your hopes up just so that you can, you know, expect a mod in the future only for them to not upload it, you know, at all. What is the exact date and time? Well, we don't know. The only good news about what's happening is that there is a alpha for Thomcraft. On the post following the April Fool's thread, they actually posted the Thomcraft alpha in one of their cough mods. And they actually got 17 downloads from that Thomcraft mod, which means that Thomcraft is still in the works, but it's in its alpha stage. And if you follow the alpha beta, you know, if you know the, the order, alpha is the earliest stage for a mod. It is being worked on. It's just so slow and it's understandable because Thomcraft is a hefty mod. The fact that I mentioned all the stuff previously, can you, you can kind of understand like the purpose behind taking your sweet time with this mod given the fact that it is a hefty mod 
To end off this video, I just want to show you a bright spot within the Thumbcraft community, and that is that the Reddit is still active, which means that to this day, people still play Thumbcraft, and people even update the add-ons for Thumbcraft. So you can still enjoy Thumbcraft and share your work with the public. Or even so, you can even just play Thumbcraft and share what you found out about Thumbcraft. Maybe you wanted to like share something interesting that you did in your world, even if someone has already did it. It's, you know, just a, a nice thing to see other people still playing this, you know, mod, despite it being outdated. That is all I have in terms of updates. Of course, you guys might have a whole lot of knowledge. You can spew the knowledge in the comments so that people can understand what's happening. But aside from that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave, leave a comment down below what mod should I do next, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care, and goodbye.